Welcome back to the news hub here at WSJ Live. We have a very special segment now. The question is, what is Dan Neal's car of the year? And which were the top contenders? Well, Wall Street Journal Rumble Seat columnist Dan Neal himself is here to explain it. So it's a rare privilege. Thank you for being here. I was going to say, yes, it is special. Uh, it, 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 it is it's very special for us, hopefully for you too, that we don't uh, have to look down a tube at you. Uh, you have four finalists. It was a great year for cars, and this was, uh, I was hard to narrow down the nominees to just four, but we'll start with one that isn't a car. Mm. It's a truck. Uh, it's the Ram 1500. You know, uh, trucks are about the balance between heavy lift capacity and, uh, and sedan-like amenities. Look at that thing. Oh, you can see it from space. Well, I and, mean, to uh, a lot of people, that would you would say, okay, that is just a, a, a full-sized four-door mm pick up like the Ford F-150. What differentiates this from the F-150? Well, this is like a personal use luxury model there. Okay. This is a, the Ram 4x4 with the big cap. You know, there, there's not a lot of difference between uh, these trucks, uh, uh, except at very much at the margins. But what's amazing is that this is, you know, it's an eight-speed transmission, has uh, load leveling air suspension. It's got a big hmm. Hemi VA. It's a fantastic thing. Chrysler returns to form. Chrysler returns to form. The Porsche Spider, 918 Spider. Yes. That's a that's a fancy one. What what, what right. about that? <clears throat> Well, it's actually a model 2015 uh, car, and that's uh, appropriate since it's from the future. This is the world's fastest sports car. It's also a hybrid, uh, and it goes around the Nurburgring in six. Did you break the speed barrier in this? Dan? You know what? I did. Uh, I did uh, violate uh, the Some municipal ordinance, ordinances in <laughs> municipal Germany. Municipal ordinances. I, I love it. Yeah. Okay, and you got this, the Mercedes Benz ah, S the, uh, right, 550. Right. Now the S class is something rather special. Right. The S class is you know uh, uh, the livery car around the world. So mm. exactly. Executive uh, limo. Uh, this is the. It's a real limo. It's a real, and this is the most technologically rich car in the world. It has uh, 60 onboard computers, 100 uh, servo motors, 500 LEDs, uh, 2,000 patents uh, are behind and, this car. And you liked, and you more important oh, than that, you you it's liked spectacular. it. Okay, right. the Corvette. And the last one is the Corvette. It's Corvette uh, Stingray. It's the seventh generation Stingray with one word. Uh, you know, it's uh, zero to sixty in four seconds. It's uh, 460 horsepower. Wow, and there, there it is, looking, looking. Is it? Look, oh, yeah, well, it, it, like was, it was. But anyway, uh, it, it was there for for a moment. Anyway, that so so is you know. And the winner is the winner is. Let's let's go. <coughs> the winner is. Thank you. That's very good. Wow, I love the clip audio. <laughs> anyway, so. This is a celebration of the return to form of General Motors. As you know, the Treasury divested its last GM stock recently. Yes, at a and loss. At a loss. Well, uh, no, at a massive gain, $100 billion in tax revenues versus 10. We, we, we stole it. Okay. Uh, and okay. Uh, we'll General Motors is, is now uh, resurgent, and this car is emblematic of it. Okay, it's and there great, it is. That, we're we're now looking car. at it and not, and not you. Why do you like the, the, the Corvette? Because, it, I mean, it, it has an interesting place in, in, in popular culture. Sure. A, lot, a lot of huge fans of it, of it in, in, in the U.S., not that popular outside the U.S. It is a plastic-shelled uh, car. It's interesting that you note that because, really, this car, uh, the new generation Corvette, is built very much like a European super sports car. I mean, it's got an aluminum monocoque, it's got a uh, carbon composite body. Uh, you know, it's a very European feeling car. And that's what Dan wants for Christmas. Thank you very Thank much, you. Dan Neal.